I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. Good morning. Next is the approval of the agenda. Make a motion to approve today's agenda. I'll second that motion. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next is approval of minutes of May 24th. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes from May 24th. I'll second it. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Now there's approval of claims for payment totaling $5,518,260.32. Mr. I'll make a motion to approve the claims for payment. I'll second that motion. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Um, the large increase in the amount of the claims is due to the refinancing that we did and it's paying off the old debt service with the money that we've refinanced with for a re refinance. What we did a month ago. Yes. Refinance. Right. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Now is approval of risk insurance renewal. This is an annual renewal that we do with Heartland Risk Insurance <coughs> Pool. We're an owner of that. After reviewing uh, the insurance <coughs> renewal agreement, I'll make a motion to approve the risk insurance renewal. I'll second it. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Now we have is Tyler Technologies Agreement. We have Tyler here. Micah, you want to talk a little bit about? Well, this is just um, a continuation of last week's meeting where we talked about um, a signing contract with Tyler Technologies for services in our uh, financial recording real estate tax system. We had a meeting last week to discuss particulars that was a public meeting and um, we would like you guys to consider signing a contract with Tyler. We would encourage you to. Is there any discussion? I know this has been ongoing discussion for quite some time. <coughs> um, Tyler's been here a number of times. Um, I appreciate the time you've taken with us um, as far as working with the various departments explaining things and I, I would make a motion to approve the Tyler Technologies Agreement. I'll second that motion. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? In the one change that we asked about last week, did they get changed? So yes, the payment we, would be? we made that change last. So there's, we, we, the change was where we're requesting payment for the change was we're requesting $6,000 down before, on or before July 15th of 2017, and then the balance would be due on July 1st, or on or before July 1st, 2018, of the $42,000. So that was that was approved, and that's in the contract. <coughs> was there any other discussion? Michelle? I just, um, I have my reservations, um, just because um, we've had the other um, company for so long. They've been very good to me. Um, I understand the changes um, and, and just just want to voice my, con my concern. Not that I'm dissatisfied with anything that I've seen by Tyler, but um, just. It's a large change for your office, Don's office, Lori's, Jessica's. Mm -hmm. For my office, I don't use them <laughs> at all, so. <laughs> yeah, for three of us, it, it and even Lori now with, with the recording and everything, it's uh, very important that we all work together. I mean, because mm -hmm. all those offices have to work with the values and everything in taxes. So. I'm actually looking forward to the change because I, I just it's an up and coming, and it's, it's I have a lot so. of confidence in it. Talking to other constituents in other counties, so I'm looking forward to it. Change is going to be hard. There's always Change ups and downs happens. with everything, yeah. no matter what you do. So, 
Any other discussion? Hearing no more, I'll do a roll call. Renee? Aye. DJ? Aye. Lance? Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. <coughs> you. You did knock that extra 10% off before we did. I write you a check. Yeah. <laughs> Too hard in county. <laughs> Uh, next I have is a resolution master matrix review. BJ, you put this one together. Would you like to sure. do that? Um, I'm going to read the resolution uh, and uh, make one quick explanation. Whereas the Hardin County Supervisors recognize the importance of the agricultural growth and agricultural capitalism, we believe, also believe that the DNR's master matrix is in need of review by the governor, the lieutenant governor, acting, Iowa House and Senate, along with the DNR and the general public. <coughs> While confined animal feeding operations are vital in terms of a food source, jobs, and property tax base, the Hardin County Supervisors acknowledge that it is our responsibility to represent our, all taxpayers in regards to personal health and well-being, environmental stewardship, ability re to recreate, create healthy social events, maintain taxpayer infrastructure, and good farm neighbors while being a strong link in feeding the world. Today we call on said elected officials to bring the master matrix back for review as they do in all other professional fields and occupations as times and technologies change. So do those in confined animal feeding operations industry. Until the state lawmakers at the state level act upon this master matrix, the Hardin County supervisors will take no further action. And we've listed our state elected representatives and their contact information um, to contact uh, in the event that uh, taxpayers in Hardin County would like to contact their legislator and uh, call for action. I do want to clarify the last sentence, uh, quote, until the state lawmakers at the state level act upon this master matrix, the Hardin County supervisors will take no further action. The intent is that Hardin County will not revisit changes changes of how permitting takes place. The state is the authority and they have the burden to act and listen to Iowa residents. So you're, so that means we're, it's not going to affect how everything no. is done currently and approval of? Correct. Okay. We are calling on the state legislators to review how things are done at the state level, just like they've looked at how nurses practice, how chiropractors practice, how um, you know nursing homes operate based on technology. So we're asking them to do the same uh, when it comes to occupations relating to agriculture. So you're making the motion? I'm to making the motion to approve the resolu resolution as presented. Okay, I'll second it. It's been moved and seconded in discussion. We'll take no further action. Give me a second here. Let me finish mine first. Uh, with no further action, I just want to make sure it's, it's very clear that we're still going to deal with Master Matrix. Mm -hmm. The no further action would be sending letters to the state. Well, the no further action is we aren't going to continue, to, we're going to continue the process as it is in place right now. And until we have further action from the legislative, which would be part of the Iowa Code, we don't have the authority to act on it. And we open ourselves up to many more issues by creating impromptu you know, shoot from the hip legislation at the local level. So we will we will <coughs> proceed based on the Iowa Code as presented. Okay. So we'll continue to handle them the, the way we currently do. Correct. Okay. Julie, you had a comment. Um, we are we are in a motion. Can I keep it limited though? Sure. Okay. <laughs> I just um, just got a copy of this. Um, this resolution is incredibly weak and um, 
feels like it could have just come off the printer at uh, Iowa Farm Bureau. It's unbelievable. Uh, the master matrix really is to relate that to reviewing jobs like hairdressers, nursing home is so wildly um, <laughs> off base. This says nothing about the degradation of water. Um, in Hardin County, we have over 1.2 million hogs here. In this county, Iowa has 750 um, impaired waterways up from the 2014. Um, Iowa produces 22 billion gallons of manure. This resolution is weak. It's totally, um, I just, I'm just stunned that you would come up with something like this. Address it to Bill Dix, Dave Dio, if you've ever spoken to them. They, um, they're useless as well as Pat Grassley in addressing water impairment in Hardin County. Have any of you walked the trail at Lower Pine Lake? Have any yes. of you walked? And what did it look like to there you? There was so much goose poop out there, it was ridiculous. That is not all oh. goose poop. That is such, um, that is not even. Yes, there are geese out there. There's probably fewer than there were last year. That is not all goose poop. If you'd like to go out there, we can talk to um, the ranger. But this this resolution is, you should be embarrassed. I don't know where, Hard, if this passes, Hardin County will be embarrassed. The rest of the That's all. Were there any other comments? discussion. I would just like to say thank you for uh, allowing us to work, uh, provide jobs, and help out the uh, already stressed agriculture uh, economy. Kind of, it's, it's nice that we're following through with this. It's not nice to privatize profit and socialize the risk of bad water. I also have a concern regarding um, the waterways in Iowa, water, whatever, but I also <coughs> appreciate what you do as far as, you know, feeding the world or whatever. Um, I would just ask that anybody that has them be conscientious about the placement um, and your practices as far as um, the spreading of the manure and whatever uh, keeping in mind the drainage districts that we have the open waterways and those kinds of things um, I'm all for the buffer strips and that kind of thing but so I, I mean I just we all need to be more conscientious and I just feel like there's not a I mean our hands are pretty well tied um, and we really don't have a lot of say in the master matrix I do believe in the master matrix um, so I'm not against the, the the hogs at all I just I just want everybody to be you know thoughtful about the placement of the the manure that type of thing like I said for our waterways and our lakes and <coughs> that type of thing Jacob, Jacob Hansacker uh, Martin County here I'm a farmer that raises pigs, a farmer that spreads the manure, an excavating contractor that digs the pits, uh, and sometimes demos the old buildings. Every step of that process, we are concerned with the water, from the silt fence when we start, to the master matrix and the manure management plants when we spread the manure, to the care for the pigs when we um, raise the buildings and start the buildings, and also with the DNR permits, and a lot of work that goes into taking a building down to either put a new building up or reclaim the land. So. Every step of this process is, is done with, with water and quality of life in mind, whether it's from the siting of the barn with uh, Master Matrix, and I applaud you guys for taking this action too. Um, and there again, I'm an EMT and a firefighter, so we, going back to what BJ had said, is written in this to going with 
updating standards and everything else. <coughs> we update standards all the time, so uh, we, if the legislature states that it needs to be updated, then, then we'll go along with the updates. But it's also something that it's, it's certainly not that farmers and builders and everyone else that's growing pigs out there dumping manure into a lake or into right. a stream uh, at any time. So. No, and I realize that, and I, I do think that a majority of people are very conscientious about it. I think there's probably a few that, I mean, we've had issues in the past in up northwest of us, whatever, that have made it, a, given some of it a bad name. Um, so I do thank you for, for what you do and uh, would help or maybe ask you to help police those that maybe aren't, aren't as conscientious about it. Any other discussion? Brian? <coughs> Just for the, to make the record straight, I'm Brian Krause, Byron County Fire Bureau President. We were involved last week in the conversation too. One thing's nice, you guys are keeping a level playing field for everybody. You know what? So we're not, Harden County's not going to be put out in the, in the limelight or either way. We appreciate you guys doing that. We know it's tough for you guys to take a stand either way. So we do appreciate it. And like we said, the conservation, the hogs, the cattle, the capos, they've all got to work together. We have in the past, we will keep doing it. So we appreciate what you guys do and keep it out as a level playing field for the whole state. Thank you. Any more? So, um, uh, BJ, you did, when I approached you about this, you did say that we would set up a meeting which you usually do, but apparently Farm Bureau was involved in putting this together. Then is that? No, I handcrafted this resolution from my computer, Julie. Well, yes, I understand. Okay. Well, you said it came off the Farm Bureau printers, was, and it wasn't that at all. As it, okay. it did come off the Farm Bureau okay. uh, computer, but okay. obviously it didn't. But okay. obviously had it. Um, everybody has input. We get calls from constituents. We discuss this at length, Julie. And you Time yes. Talk with me about it, and crickets, nothing, zero. So I'm just setting that record okay. straight. Thank you. Any more discussion? I believe that the matrix has been put in play for a long enough time. I also believe that uh, it does need to be relooked at, and I do want the DNR's help and support with them as they relook at it which is stated in this. Without their help, you got a bunch of people that might not know anything about agriculture trying to make a law in these points. The DNR is the one that has to actually go out and implement this and deal with everything. Some of the things in the matrix are pointless, in my opinion. They don't have to be in it. <laughs> I don't care if it gets a smaller point system and it takes less points, if it takes more points, it, it's up to them to decide, but I would like the DNR to be involved in this as well. And I don't think it hurts at all for them to go through and relook really at the matrix. It only makes sense for them to be involved because they're, like you said, they're the ones that are in charge of the <coughs> manure management, you know, checking on that, you know, if they do. And they're also in charge of the lakes and rivers and all the state, state parks that kind of thing so you know they work with all of that so it only makes sense that they would and, and be they, involved and I hope they work with the legislature to to make the, make whatever needed changes there are. And they're also the ones that take the heat for the laws that they have to implement. Mm -hmm. Right. Any other discussion? Hearing no more, roll call. BJ. Aye. Aye. Lance. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you all for your input. Next I have is a utility permit. I will make a motion to approve the Hardin County Utility Permit application by Midland Power Co-op for the purpose of boring secondary cable under 150th Street at 25031 150th Street. 
I'll second that motion. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. I don't have Daryl here from Secondary Roads. I don't believe I have anybody here from Secondary Roads. So I will go to other business. Hearing no other business, I can ask for adjournment. I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second it. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. We're adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>